return, tube dwellers, to my airship over elsewhere, Kulan. I found the Justicar's logbook. He seems to have fled. What now? Bandal. What now? We head back to the Tenmar forest and try to figure out what to do about this, yes? Not enough water around here, just warm sand. Huh. You seem disappointed about that. Kulan navigates the ship through the sky above elsewhere. Suddenly, another ship appears from the clouds. With a great crash, the two ships collide in the air. The waning moon is being boarded. The waning moon is the name of my ship. The ship has been ambushed in, a, in flight. Defeat the Justicar. Okay, okay. I think I can do this. I would love for him to uh, come on board. I suppose I've got to go up, huh? Ooh. Let's see to a potent poison. I believe that's a good 35 damage, yes sir, to make this opening shot. A stone cold killer! Oh god! Oh, and I missed! Holy crap, I can't jump out of the ship either. This is a bit dangerous. Closed quarters. Oh wow, that soldier looks like she is- oh, never mind. I was gonna say it looks like she's gonna take a beating from that first arrow. Subsequent arrows drastically changed, though. The way events unfolded. Hello, mage. You, sir, are gonna have to be the first one down. Yes, sir. I wonder, where is my... Unrelenting Force is seven. I don't know why I'd prefer to exit the quick menu and then just use the hotkey anyway. That was perfect. I got all the Thalmor. Just missed my cat buddy here. The pirate! With the smooth talking. Oh god, it hurts. It's lightning. I can't dodge it. I tried. The fancy footwork does not work. It's fancy foot fail. <laughs> some reason that went through my head first, and I thought, no, no, that one's too cheesy. Filter out. And then I said it anyway. <laughs> Down they go. Okay. The big man, she's his weapon. Wow, the sun, there's fire? Holy, can I fall off the edge? I'm not sure. The clouds are like, wow, holy. Just look at the brightness. <laughs> you scurvy dog, you. I don't think this is where my objective is trying to send me. Defeat the Justicar. Oh, is he inside of, oh. Oh, that's too perfect. That is too perfect. Hold on. Is that so? Please tell me that it is so. Is there a trap door? Oh, there it is. And, uh, I don't know. Let's just do a frostbite this time, I guess. Well, I got a stamina. Let's just do a frostbite. Oh! I'm not gonna get the sneak off! Though I'd really like to. Somehow I slid through him. Wow, this closed quarters. Oh, is gonna be a tricky one. I don't want to, but I'm gonna have to go through. Maybe I won't. Just a car Lanio. Okay, the Frost Age Narc is not doing sufficient damage to stop me from just plowing through the Justicar, and there it is. Return to Kulan and secure the ship Daedric Greatsword of Succumbing. And that is the worst possible ending you will ever see in an adult film. <laughs> chest even? Where are the loots? Show me the loots! There they are. Kulan! Wow! How did I miss this storage? Mythic Dawn commentaries? Really? Wow! That's a book from Oblivion. I gotta say, it is easy to be amazed right amongst these airships. A lot of amazing stuff here. Kulan! Oh! Skullcat! That's right. You came down with me. Justicar Lenile is dead. Good. He must have stalked the waning moon here and launched a desperate attack to avenge his Thalmor pride. An attack that failed, Kulan must add. To one cat and a... orc. Let's put out the fire and head back to the Tinmar with good news. Ah, uh, yes. Home sweet home. Kulan navigates the ship through the sky above elsewhere. It's a smooth and uneventful journey. Are we there? Uh, objective is still on Kulan. 
You need my help with anything? Perhaps there is something this old Kaji could use your help with. Hmm? Jarani, senior mage of the New Elswire movement, has been captured by Argonian pirates. Whoa, Argonian pirates? Are you kidding me? Oh, this just went from awesome to epic! You want me to help free him? Exactly. The winds of Kanarthi will carry the waning moon to the Topol Sea. Glan has finally been able to locate the pirate's stronghold. Once there, you will free Joran from his chains. Uh, again, Kulan navigates the ship through the sky. It's an uneventful journey. Boom! Finding the Topol Sea pirate base. The objective's still on him. What do we do now? Kulan has landed the ship as quietly as only Kajis can. Perhaps no one has noticed us. But this one has spotted quite a few pirates around. You will need to take care of them first. Oh. So it's the old take care of them plan, huh? Go get them! Tiger, no pun intended. We need to get back to the caravan. We're done, let's head out. Nope, neither one of those. I want to uh, see what we're dealing with here. Aragonian pirates. Okay, that's uh, interesting. It sure looks like I'm out on the ocean. This sail is awesome. An airship. I'm gonna walk into some Aragonians if I'm not careful here. This looks pretty linear. There is an Aragonian. It's the middle of the day. Let's see if I can get just enough time to send a sneak attack up. Oh, and there's a magic user in the background. A bandit plunderer. That sucks that they're called bandits. It would have done so much for my immersion. Oh, can I get it? Can I get it? Oh, it's gonna be close. We're gonna watch it all the way. Oh, it must have went right over him. All right, we'll get a little bit more revealed. Increase my odds. Oh, it still didn't get it. I feel like that's the money spot, though, right in there. Oh, knee, knee! Huh, okay. Well, since he's uh, paralyzed and more than temporarily incapacitated, let's just go ahead and hack him on down. And I would really love to disappear from the radar here. Not sure it's going to happen, though. A hundred gold? Holy! You can't hide from me. That is gonna be worth, uh, worth searching for. Boom! One shot. Loving it. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking investment in the bow via enchants is the only way. Oh, it's gonna land because I'm gonna hold it steady and take it right on in. Yeah, you too, sir. You too. I know there's some objects on the table. Don't concern. Oh, what was that? particle effect right in my face indicates that that didn't go anywhere. And it was getting ready to show me a kill cam. That would have been amazing. Look at this. A falling shot. Oh, I couldn't get it out. Whoa. Uh, okay. It's going to say not good, but looks like it's fine. Oh, I hope they don't put death bell in a, in a spot that traps you. That would be such a dirty move. Could you imagine if a content creator just seeded glitches into their game in places and then installed gameplay elements that would trick you into the glitch. Oh, that'd be so terrible. How is there no no modding troll? How has no one done this? Maybe they have, and that mod just got tons of downvotes. <laughs> Sounds incredibly likely. Guess in that case, the mod creator would really only be trolling himself. As uh, it wouldn't take many downvotes before people stopped paying any attention to it and downloading it. And then there the modder is, left with his mod all alone. So I don't really see any evidence that these guys are pirates. I mean, sure, we're like on an ocean or something. And, uh, oh. Well, hello there. What is this? A boat. Uh, we're on some island that's on the ocean that, sure, pirates would probably be uh, all about building a hideout. Oh, huh, okay. Did I need to save somebody? Is that why I was coming here? I have totally lost track of what it is I was to do. That looks like a friendly, because he's a cat person. Uh, sir, it looks like you don't need my assistance. Is this true? Joran, I'm with Kulan and Amir. I'm here to rescue you. Please, Algorj. Finally. 
Joe was getting bored around there, decided to experiment with flying toads, inspired by Wayne and Moon coming in. Oh, so you knew we were coming anyway. And this mess around here is your experiment's outcome, I assume. Joe can't say in peace now. Toads are bad in art of flying. Oh. Worse than Khajiit in swimming, in fact. And that is truly bad. Huh. In swimming? That's not... that's not true. Uh, never mind, though. Let's get out of here. Actually, Joe will stay here, Dovakin. This place has some scent of mystery. Really? And Joe wished to investigate. Perhaps Joe could be able to turn this island into a useful new Elsora stronghold. Uh, sounds unlikely, but, uh, you need anything from Kulan? No worrying about old Joe. Ask Kulan to send my apprentices here. And this piece you have apprentices? will up faster than Dova can shout meow. Joe uh. will send the word once he progresses. You said something about me not shouting fast, so I feel the need to inform you that, uh, no, no sir or ma'am, whichever it is you may be, you cannot clean this place up faster than I can shout, even were your apprentices here now. And they're not. And you know what, since you're just going to stick around and you're going to entice me with tales of potential treasure. Uh, I'll just go find some more chests. There's another one now. I feel like there's got to be more here. Is there going to be like a hidden door somewhere? Is there a... Is there a button on one of these, like in the Dawn Guard Fortress? It does not appear so. But I... feel the need to parkour anyway. Oh yeah, and they're going to reward me for it! That's what I like to see. A chest just out of sight. Uh, well, I don't necessarily like to see the head on the skull, but just past a indicator that something may be amiss. Now, is there anywhere I could, like, wind run to from here? Whirlwind sprint? I feel like maybe, but probably not. Let's just go Good. that direction. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that distance looked perfect, but it wasn't quite there. Okay, well, I think, uh, does the map concur that we're... Mostly done here. Wow, it doesn't really concur. No, it's got it's got all kinds of little nooks and crannies on the map in places that I think I need to go walk and scrutinize very closely. Every distant lone corner needs to be explored. If I didn't know any better, I would think that there's a bit of a land bridge going on here to somewhere. Although I feel like I should know better than to have faith in that kind of silly jazz. And here the invisible wall is. Oh, it figures. Of course, they're going to put the invisible wall just far enough out that it takes you a while to get there before getting stopped. I checked that out. I didn't check this out, correct? Good. Yeah. And of course, it's going to make it a ridiculous pain in the ass to try to get back up to the airship. I believe I have, uh, well, now totally used up, exhausted, the loot resources of this little island. Kulan, I found Joe. Uh, pretty adamant about sticking around, though. Don't think Joe's coming with us. Joran is safe, but he wished to stay and turn this island into an encampment. Good news. I'll send over his apprentices to help him out. Joran <laughs> is a great strategic asset. I'll let you know when he has need of us. Let's get back. All right. Uh, Tinmar or the caravan supply post? Huh, I feel like Tinmar is going to give me a uh, possibility to go back to Skyrim. Ah, uh, yes. Home, sweet home. And I kind of want to make a trip back to Skyrim before I get all the way through Moonpath because I want to unify the purpose of my enchantments, whereas right now they are incredibly divergent. Topple C. Uh, I can ask him about the new encampment. Duran has sent word. The rebuild is complete. What? And he Seriously? Wants us to inspect the stronghold. 
You wish to do so now? Ah, uh, no. Although, yeah, sometime very soon. Wait until Kalan receives word from Joran. I think some of the dialogue may have uh, been a little out of order there because I just got the objective to wait, and he said it's already done. Is the Justicar Your dead? The will wait. The Valmor will return. Khajiit cannot kill a Justiciar without righteous Justiciar. But for now, the forest is calm. Better enjoy the peace while it lasts. Okay, that completed incursion, although he has started me on another quest, which is pretty awesome. Uh, am I still looking for hyena meat? Didn't I get that? I thought I got that. I did, yes, eight hyena meat. Sweet, so that is a possible turn in. Ah, the return to Tinmar. Now the question is, where in Tinmar am I? Is this, uh... Oh, okay, hold on, I remember this. This is not the hub uh, where the dude who wants hyena meat can be found. Is this, this is like a hideout. I didn't notice it the first time I came through here. Uh, this is where I found the one dude's brother, the Tohoi Rat. However that goes. I found his brother here. This is like, uh, they knew all their bookshelves. Yeah, and I can, this is totally a hideout. This is made to be like a player home. Matter of fact, the smithing utensils, display cases even, grindstones, it is all so perfect. Oh, this one needs something. Oh, and there's a merchant here? Alright, we'll drop right, a, off a bit of our crap. I've got quite a bit on me right now. 317. But out of 515 carry weight, booyah, I think I'm going to have to use my tracker to figure out, yeah, which way to go. That's this direction? Is that right? Oh, man, mannequins, everything. This hideout's got it all! I hope it is directly adjacent to the other part of camp. Uh, and given that objective not being a it's in a door icon, I'm sure that it is. However, it's gonna make me run for a while anyway. God, these giant spider corpses just linger. That's the last thing I want, just hanging around. Look at the torch bugs. There are so many torch bugs out. I should probably go snatch all of those. I think, uh, especially if I go the bow focus route, I'm gonna uh, really start putting more stock in my alchemy as well. Uh, I have used alchemy with archery before, and it's great! I have not used it in Spurg, however, so... Nobody knows how much greater it may be. Yeah! Gotta touch the spider carcass as I run by it. Here we go. I've got some hyena meat for a special little guy who uh, is probably gonna be doing some very concerning ritual using it. Eridor! I found the ingredients! What are you gonna do? Eridor will cook the poison to weaken Slod's magic. When the spell will break down, Silkskin will sniff out the plague carrier. Ha! Huh. Is it done? Yes, it's easy. There is no wait time. Eridor is the best Apparently. poison cook in all Esmer. Feed this to the fat one, then find Silkskin. No kill Slot before the carrier is dead. Is this going to enrage him and make him try to attack me? Oh man. To look for a way back to Skyrim? Or to just dive headfirst into this slowed thing. I'd really like to find my way back to Skyrim, and I think it's going to be something kind of a pain in the butt, like going through that door and then some of the beginning areas. But let me talk to a couple people first. Oof, in my wandering to try to find somebody that might take me back to Skyrim, I've re entered the area that directly borders the Slode's lair, so I can't see just walking right past it. I've got to go do the dirty deed. He saw me before. He's probably not going to think, huh, what is this? There's a chest here, and a door for... Is this a different way into the Slode's Lair? No, maybe this is the same way. Yeah, no, this is the same way. Are his digesters going to be back out? Maybe maybe that doesn't matter. It, is this the same way? Yeah, yeah, this is the same way. Huh. For some reason that mushroom looks weird. Maybe I just didn't pay much attention to him last time I was in here. Hello, Mr. Slode. 
Oh, mighty eater, I bring you delicacy with the finest elsewhere spices. Now, Shacho Mosata, I can't hold my joy at your groveling servitude. Give me the meat and go now before I regurgitate. Return with new tastes quickly. <laughs> Before he regurgitates, is he gonna regurgitate because of me? Because I disgust him, or is regurgitation a part of his his cycle? Poisoned hyena meat. He seems not to mind it. I kind of want to keep an eye on the bugger. It's worrying me a little. All right. Well, I guess I can go out and talk to Silkskin now, who's gonna go find the plague bear, and then I can go in and kill this load like I tried to originally. Silkskin, where in the crap are you? I know you're here somewhere. You were here. Oh, oh. Okay, it's a friendly Parnassotops. No worries about. Oh, yeah, there we go. Silkskin. Dirty girl, you. Come here. We got stuff to do. The slow's down for a while. There must be a plague carrier. Can you find it? Find it, yes. This Kajit smelled it before you come here. It's near the mammoth skull. Go quick and take care of this corruption. Near the mammoth skull? You smelled that it's near the mammoth skull? Okay, I'm not gonna ask questions. I'm just gonna go faithfully. That root looked really weird. I thought it was trying to grab me. It totally looked like a grabby root. Oh, what is this? That is not good. Not what I expected to see. That is an infected... He's alive? How is the Plague Bearer alive? Wow, that first arrow did barely anything. The crit, though, we'll do more of that. That's all right with me. Oh, man, I can't I can't be cheap. I can't stay up here. As a matter of fact, since he's right on top of me and I'm sure he moves fast, let's go ahead and bring it on down. Just want to trade blows with me, bud. I don't think it's going to work for you in the end and his body disappears confront the slowed in his lair huh picking some mushrooms ghostly remains seriously wow the zihilisk was a ghost it was a it was a ghost plague what it didn't even how in the what the apparently the slowed has some pretty powerful magic to bind a ghost spirit to this world a, a, a raptor spirit and then somehow endow it with the potency to spread a plague you sir um, it said confront let's just let's just have a chat shall we hello slowed I made this mistake before I shan't make it again your time is up you fat blackmailing slob okay maybe not the choice of words I would have uh would have picked going into that. But. I sensed your betrayal. You think a bit of indigestion will stop me? We will see how you take. Indigestion. He's, he's going to throw up. He's going to throw up all over me. No, you don't. Oh, he's a quick guy. Step closer. I will release the plague. Been there, done that. Not worried about the plague no more. He seems like he's a lot more powerful than the first time I attacked and killed him. Oh, I did not see that attack coming the way I expected it to. You've got too much to say, fat man. I will this. Good, I hope you do. Because when you come back to this realm, you will be super ticked off to learn that I died hundreds of years ago by natural causes. Sleeping on a straw mat because I wasted all of my adventuring coin on mead and women. You'll know that I died fat and happy, like you would have preferred to be. 
slowed down. I'm to talk to Arid Ore, correct? Yes. Uh, but is there a way to potentially... Huh. He's in the elsewhere hideout, or at least it says that it's faster to go that way. Okay. I think I may want to stop by the hideout anyway. Good. I almost want to stop back by Kulan on the airship and see if he has an option to go to Skyrim. Because uh, I've lost my my entry point. I don't remember how he came into this area, so... It's not going to be as easy as just turning around and walking back out. Good. It might not yeah. even be that easy if I knew! Uh, let's go back to Eridor first, though. I feel like this quest will wrap up, whereas going to the airship quest, I think we'll probably chain on to another one. Sprinted all the way, and I'm still not out of stamina. Boy, this orc's gonna be breathing heavy for a while, though. The Sloan is dead, and the disease carrier has been taken care of. Ah, the fat one becomes food for little forest dwellers. I will go and cleanse the Elder Grace Ugh. now. Squirrels are gonna eat him? Do not like foul smells. Sure, but you're gonna let squirrels eat him? Ah, uh, the dinner guest completed! Rhinos the top saved. It looks like they're moving out immediately to go munch on some slowed carcass. Will you sell stuff to me now? Are you like a, an alchemist merchant, an alchemy merchant? That would be really great. I don't think he is. He won't talk to me. Ha! Huh. Pity. Well, uh, it seems I have come up a touch short. But I regret to inform you that it's going to have to end there anyway. I got to find out. How in the crap to get back to Skyrim? And then do it. Maybe even do some enchanting. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Thanks for watching, Tube Brothers. See you later!